kill myself with a fork pretty soon. Just stick myself right in the heart. You know, we're taking a little journey. A long time ago, my dear mother bought a piece of property here in Prump, Nevada. And I have not been there, or she has not been there either since... I think probably in the 80s and sometimes is the last time anybody was there. So I'm just curious, just going to check it out to see if it's still there, if they haven't moved it. You know, it's very interesting. I'm going to look at this piece of property. Hillbillies usually buy in hillbilly places. We bought this place, there was nothing around there. I'm very, very curious to see what it looks like and the surrounding buildings around it. We may be going into either a very, very prestigious neighborhood or 100% hillbillies are us. It'll be interesting. I'm looking forward to that more than anything. Now, the last time I was here, they have a water fountain there, and the going joke was is the kids used to throw Tide in it, and it would get all full of bubbles and foam over on the roads about a foot or two feet high coming out of the water fountain. That was the going trick that the kids used to do. It's fairly interesting, but we'll see if the water fountain is still there. Like, again, it's been, it's been just about 30 years since I've been here, so it's kind of interesting. for some guidance <laughs> she'll have a list of things for me to do when she answers it just it's just about normal do you know that this is broken and yeah perfect hello what are you doing getting here talking to you well there you go hey do you know how do we find i'm in nye county here taking a look and i'm driving through here do you know any idea where this property is that we have it's in Pump. And I just made a check out to the taxes for six hundred dollars, but I haven't sent it yet. Well I'm very well aware of that, but do you know the lot location? Do you know the street number? Do you know anything there is to know about it? I think it's on the underbrush. It's no. registered in both names. They have an office there in Pump. They What's have an office right in downtown Vegas. What's it now we're not in Vegas, we're in Pump. Now what is the office called? Out of okay. How I, I did, all I remember is where the water fountain was. So I don't even remember that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and you, guys up and down the you know what? I'm gonna f kill myself with a fork pretty soon. Just stick myself right in the heart. Right, look it up. What's the lot number? You know, it's amazing how I managed to live as a youngster. You know, I think I, the wolves, I fended for the, the wolves helped me live, I think. I think I suckled off of a wolf. I, 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 I really don't understand. I'm surprised. How, why do you have, you, you never have paperwork. You, you know, that's something I've inherited from you, and I thank you very much for it. Well, I got this paper, yeah, the papers from Debbie down here. Okay. But she gave me all the numbers before, but I never, ever got to the bank. Well, there you go. What is the name of the place? Where is it? There's a street number on the tax notice. What does it say on it? You see, I can't see it. I can't see it. I can't see it. Probably Underbrush. Underbrush what? Underbrush Avenue, Underbrush Road. It's Underbrush. Underbrush, okay. Underbrush Avenue, Nevada. Okay, we'll find it. I'll phone you back in a bit. Okay, bye. Yeah, tell if you look around, tell them to give you a certificate for supper. They'll give you a free supper if you get to go to see the temple. <laughs> Your mother. She aggravates the f out of me more than you know. Oh, like, I know. She's yelled at me many times. I tell you what, her and Mike, I think they're related. They're both, they're both, I, 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 I swear. Like, it just, it just, it she, is she, I, it, is she, there's nobody can aggravate me as much as her and as fast as her. Like, I tell you what, about two words out of her vocal cords and I'm just ready to just about myself with a fork. Well, there's one thing about it. I can bring the property value down by about 30% by moving in. <laughs> <laughs> I, I tell you what, my mother is a pain in the but she makes some very good choices and some very bad choices 
So this will be very interesting to see which one of these choices they are. Like, again, very little that I'll ever say this, but if I do as well as my mother does in life, I'll be very happy, even though she pisses me off. She's done very well. She's highly intelligent, but a pain in the Her and Mike should be related. They're both manipulators at the highest degree. Check it out. This ought to be interesting. <laughs> nice. This is our piece of property that we've had for all oh, about probably 30 years. The dog likes me, he's coming over to see me. It's, uh... It seems like not a bad neighbor, it'll like us some good houses and stuff. Fences make good neighbors, eh? Yeah. But thank goodness you pulled one up. Yeah, keeps keeps the tumbleweeds out. How long you lived there for? About three years, going on four. Cool. What are these lots worth nowadays? Uh, when we first moved in, it was about between twenty and thirty. Now they're up between twenty, uh, between and sixty. So if you go farther north, they're they're still about between twenty and twenty and forty. Now, why is this area more? It looks like it's not a bad area. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Cause to me, technically, they're at the lowest part is the golf course. So if they were talking about like flood zones, that'd be the the lowest point of the of the valley. Okay. But. Um, I think it's just because they're all custom homes. They're all basically acre lots. They're not really smaller than acre lots. Okay. So. I don't remember what we paid for it. I think it was six thousand yeah, dollars or yeah. something that's, like that. That's what he paid for his. Back then. That's what he paid for his. Uh, yeah, they that, lived for twenty years and they I'm, bought a couple around here, and so they own a couple of these lots, and that's what they paid. Well, that's, that's all right. Stuff. It seems like it's in a good area, anyways. It looks like. Yeah, they're all. Everyone's really just uh, just keeps themselves. I mean, the best neighbors are the ones who keep themselves, right? Is there city water and septic here? City water, uh, not sewer, but septic. You, you, have, uh, you just put your own septic in. Well, so just a field then, eh? There's, it looks like a lot of vacant businesses around here. It was busy at one time and then kind of went for a little I think, bit of a slowdown. Uh, they, were, they were building at one point years ago, expecting a lot more growth. Um, and then it just didn't really happen. But now it's happening. So, what is happening again? Eh? Oh, it's happening again. Uh, the, the commercial price has gone up as well as far as uh, properties and lease, leases. Okay, oh, anyway, it's nice meeting you, man. Yeah, it was perfect for me to Well, you need anything, I'll be your neighbor, man. Let you know. Okay, no problem. You know? Yeah, you just be thankful my mother doesn't look moving next to you. <laughs> An acre's big, you know, mom and law and quarters could be that way. Um, my mother, if she was in Mexico, she'd be too close. <laughs> okay, nice meeting you, man. I can tell you what, it surprises me. Because if you look up on the lot, these lots go from anywhere from 4,000 to whatever to 60. But again, like I said, my mother, when it comes to stuff, sometimes every once in a while, she will make a good move. So that's sixty. That's a hundred thousand dollars. This lot's worth Canadian. We're real close to it. Well, we farming. Hey? We got to, we're farming tumbleweeds. Hey, but the good thing about it is, if a guy does move in, I don't have to build that much fence. <laughs> There's a multitude of thoughts. Number one is why would anybody want to live here? Was the first thing. Um, it's the desert. I hate the heat. And the other thing that I'm thinking about is, wow, what a nice place to live at. There's no winter. So, kind of a mixed match of feelings and thoughts we have had it for quite a while 
it's kind of nice to see that all the money that was put into it, there's probably been $60,000 worth of tax money put into it over the years. 30 years at about $600 a year, it was $18,000 plus the purchase price. So $20,000 and I guess it's worth 60. So I guess it's, it's, it's better than bank interest. Hello. Well, we find your, we found the property. Oh, good. So now you're treasure hunters. Yeah, we're treasure hunters over and done with. Um, it's went up in price supposedly if we're at the right spot. He said these lots are going for right around 50,000 US and this place is back on a, another price kick for it going back up. You know how it went in a slump for a while. Remember back in the day when they were phoning us wanting to sell this piece of property? The realtors? No, I'm still getting letters from realtors wanting to buy it, but we could have bought a house on a lot really cheap there about five years ago when you quit paying taxes. I got the tax note. I got the money for the taxes in my first year. Good. That's good. Kind of yeah, by the time it's in there, I need taxes again for it. But anyways, okay, I just thought it's, it's flat. It's growing up. It's not a bad neighborhood. You could come move in here and drop probably property values by about 30%. <laughs> well, the neighbor's got about 37 dogs, so your donkey would fit right in. It's uh, it's a nice flat lot. There's water. There's water to the front of it, and they use a septic system here. So. Yeah. You weren't there when Dempsey's and us went that time. No, I wasn't here. No. I don't know if they sold theirs or if the kids kept up the taxes on it or if it just went back to Calvada. I don't know. George said had a plot. There's just a lot not too far away. He liked it because he could have a horse over there and he could ride to the bank. There you go. Yeah, that's something everybody wants to do. What is your dream for this place? What are you going to have a donkey farm here or what? I'm going to start raising better kids. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Okay, love you. I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye. There is some, we're in actually the high end district it looks like. There's some big houses here and they like fences, I like that. And I guess the reason they put fences up is to keep the tumbleweeds out. In our case, it would be probably to keep the neighbors out. Is it my dream place to live here? Is it my dream place? No, it's not. Is it an investment place? Yes, it is. So, you know, it'd be interesting to see if a guy put a shack up there and ready to, you know, is it worth the point of building a house there and selling it under spec or just selling it to somebody that's looking for a house?